there was a, um, a video trailer released of an upcoming title called Unrecord, uh, which um, I believe the saying is went viral. <laughs> uh, as the youth say, yes, uh, <laughs> uh, because um, well, essentially you're looking at a really interesting presentation, very lifelike. Uh, we're kind of reminded of um, uh, it was a game called Ride Four, which was a motor biking uh, game which had a similar kind of effect on the audience. Um, Oliver, why do you think this footage has sort of got the attention? Uh, that it has received. I mean, it seems to be a combination. I mean, if we look at the, the Ride 4 situation, it seems to be a combination of lighting and motion, essentially, right? Yeah, I think it, it really comes down to the combination of that really realistic lighting and high uh, fidelity assets, along with the lack of any kind of really heavy gamey color grading. And of course, that very realistic kind of handheld style camera movement. Um, the ambient lighting looks really, really good. There's a ton of geometry in the environment. I think part of it as well is that what we're seeing with games like this is that we haven't seen too much from Unreal Engine 5 titles, and a lot of those titles are still like deep in development, and we won't see too much from a lot of them for probably quite a while. And with something like this, playing with the Unreal Editor and getting some assets together, and uh, you know, a few people potentially can make a really, really compelling Unreal Engine 5 demo to show off that really shows off what the engine is capable of, even if full-fledged games aren't quite ready for prime time. So I think that's part of it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people are suggesting, Alex, that this is a, a scam or not real gameplay footage, whereas I guess from your perspective, you know, you could see straight away that it was a rendered asset. Uh, oh, yeah. Definitely it, it was, doable in real time. It was really obvious. But the, the one thing is you mentioned Ride 4, and actually a thing that I thought about in the middle of the evening yesterday after work is that it actually reminds me of something completely different and something very old. There's a mod for Crisis called Extreme Quality Mod by Cyber Alien. I'm going to send Oliver some extremely old YouTube footage here. <laughs> and it did the exact same thing and uh, in terms of what it was trying to achieve. And this footage is going to look pretty grainy and blocky because it's old YouTube footage on screen right now. But basically what it did is it decoupled the camera um, from the the first person hand asset which is called the free aim system which is something that's used in a lot of uh, simulation shooters on pc uh people also just des described wii games as using it but that's actually slightly different but um it does that and then what it does is it uh blows out the contrast kind of like a handy cam does uh so you see a lot of overexposed whites and then also it sharpens the footage kind of like a handy cam does. And then it also does barrel distortion on the first person view and then adds in other kind of um, walking animations for the camera itself uh, because it's attached to a different style of rig at this point in time. And this is, you know, 12 year old footage that I'm sharing on the screen right now. It could possibly even be older. Um, and you can see kind of the lineage here of what this is trying to do. And then you go over to this unrecord thing and you just imagine the fact that oh yeah we have uh the ability to represent overcast lighting conditions in games now with things like real-time ray tracing which lumen is and it all of a sudden it makes a really a lot of sense I, i'm i'm excited for this um not really from the graphical perspective because i think it actually it makes a lot of sense the way it looks i think it's i don't actually find it super mind-blowing like a lot of people in the audience do i think it makes a lot of sense but i'm interested in the fact that we're going to see a game that really only functions on like a PC environment because free aim systems don't work with a controller. And it's um, it's the, the footage they showed off here. The developer very um, pointedly pointed out that it was all done with mouse and keyboard, even though it looks super smooth. Now, usually you don't demo games on mouse and keyboard because the movement is so erratic. But when you use a free aim system, it doesn't do that anymore. I'm excited to play it because I love free aim systems and games. It's something that's usually neglected uh, due to the fact that a lot of games are not designed around mouse and keyboard. So cool. Uh, let's, I can't wait to see what it plays like. Um, but yeah, very cool little footage, uh, but definitely real time. Definitely not faked. Yeah, I mean, we had um, an editor shot from Unreal Engine showing <laughs> that particular level. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's quite interesting that once you actually take it out of the video environment and put it into the editor environment, suddenly it looks just like a game, right? <laughs> yeah. Not surprising. Uh, the developer has uh, <laughs> produced uh, various statements about elements of the footage that raise concern. 
And um, I've got to just uh, mention this one, which is uh, his, uh, the developer's response to whether it's scam or real gameplay footage. Uh, there have been many doubts raised about the authenticity of the gameplay. The game is developed on Unreal Engine 5, and the game footage is captured from an executable and played using a keyboard and mouse. It is not a VR game. In reality, it seems rather flattering to compare the graphics of Unrecord to reality. But fortunately, we know that a game first focuses on gameplay and universe, on which we <laughs> primarily concentrate. Considering the high production... I love this one. Uh, considering the high production costs of a video game and our global reputation at stake, if Unrecord were a scam, it would be a blockbuster scam. <laughs> there, therefore, it's, it is logically not one. <laughs> I love that. Uh, we do not use any real videos or external rendering to Unreal Engine for the creation of Unrecord. Unrecord is uh, Unreal with the Un... Uh, in, in brackets Capital. there. Mm. Um, so you think it's a, a, I mean, I think a, a part of it is the Lumen side of things, assuming it is using Lumen, because it does look mm. uh, really impressive lighting wise. I don't know what more there is to say about this. It's very similar to uh, Ride 4, I think, in that um, you've really got to see the game itself, the, the camera that's being used here, which I think gives it so much of its uh, authenticity. Um the question is, is the gameplay actually going to be like that? Because it could cause some pretty severe um, stu uh, <laughs> sort of stomach problems for people. Yep. Motion issues. Um, it, it, and yeah, the Ride 4, you couldn't actually play it with that camera because it was just too disorientated. It just looked great as a replay, I think. Yeah. In this case, a lot of people... Mm, there's In these free game games that do exist, a lot of people who play them are just hardcore simulation nerds. Um, <laughs> so they're used to be getting like sick on their stomach from like VR and all these things. So you have to play it if you have good VR legs. But a lot of people, um, like I remember when this Cry Cyber Alien mod came out back in the day, a lot of people would just not play it because it made them literally vomitory, like <laughs> sick. They just want to vomit. So <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. What this mm -hmm. actually reminded me of more than anything else was, I don't know if you remember, but last year, about this time last year, there was that demo that an artist put together in Unreal Engine 5 of a subway sta station, mm -hmm. and they had all this like really intense lighting with a flashlight, and they had that kind of shaky cam look to the footage, and again, mm -hmm. people were saying, is this reality? Is this unreal? What is this? And it really, to me, it kind of captures that fact that people are just so excited, I think, to see what uh, future games will look like in this kind of preview state, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, we don't get that much of it like we've seen i don't know hellblade 2 silent hill 2 you know a couple things so far uh, and then and then another one that we'll talk about later but for the mm -hmm. most part you know we haven't seen that much of like really high unreal engine 5 work particularly on the pc mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely i mean we're at the case well we're at the stage at the moment where uh, unreal engine 5 is still kind of like a nascent technology we've had one shipping game using lumen and nanite which is fortnite which came from epic games um, so we're going to start to see some really interesting stuff emerging like this because, you know, obviously when you're dealing with micro geometry like nanite and uh, RT lighting from Lumen, you're going to be seeing some absolutely fantastic things which we've never seen before, which I'm, I'm really excited about. So I think what we're seeing here is actually just like the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. and there's there's much better things to come. <laughs> 